Yo, what is up guys? What is going on? Zach or Mortal Resistance here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today guys, we're going to be talking about DLC number 3 for Black Ops 3, mainly focusing on the remake map that we could be seeing come back with this next DLC pack. As I'm sure you guys know, in DLC number 1, Awakening, we got Skyjacked, which was a remake of Hijacked from Black Ops 2, and in DLC number 2, Eclipse, we got Verge, which was a remake of Bonsai from World at War. So, we've had remake maps from World at War and Black Ops 2. What are we missing out of that little circle right there? Black Ops 1, of course, which landed right in the middle there. And I'm sure as most of you guys know, back in Black Ops 2 as a part of the DLC packs, we had a couple Black Ops 1 map remakes. We had a Firing Range remake, which I believe was called Studio, and we also had a Summit remake, which I can't actually remember the name of. I'm sure one of you guys will know it down in the comments below. But anyways, that still leaves quite a few maps as options to return in Black Ops 3. Keep in mind, they do try and remake these maps basically as close as they can to the original. Keep in mind the movement system that does have a little bit of own effect on how the map will actually play. So here are a few maps that we could still see return in Black Ops 3 that are a remake from Black Ops 1. We have Array, Cracked, Crisis, Grid, Hanoi, Havana, Jungle, Launch, Radiation, Villa, and WMD. So there are quite a few of these maps I feel like could work really, really well with the movement system here in Black Ops 3. There are a few maps I feel like maybe wouldn't work nearly as well. Array, for instance, it's a very open map. A lot of it takes place outside. I feel like maybe the wall running movement really wouldn't be taken advantage of, so to speak, on that map as well as it could be on Grid or Havana or Radiation or WMD. But just looking at these maps from Black Ops 1, the map that I definitely feel like I could see returning the most in Black Ops 3 as a remake map is WMD. And I don't know about you guys, but I loved WMD when, uh, when it was in Black Ops 1. It was one of my favorite maps in the game. And just think about it. I feel like there's so many different opportunities to use the Black Ops 3 movement system to your advantage on this map. It would play really, really well, and they'd hardly have to alter the map to fit in with Black Ops 3's movement. The thrusters, the wall running, I feel like would all fit in really, really well. And I could definitely see WMD returning as the remake map as a part of Black Ops 3's third DLC. Let me know what you guys think would be the returning map from Black Ops 1 in the third DLC here here in Black Ops 3. There are so many different numbers that I've mentioned in this video. It's a little bit confusing, but regardless, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Slap a like on the video if you guys did. Give it a little love tap. Show your support. It is always appreciated. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can stay up to date with all of the future content. As always, I've been Zach or Motor Resistance, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay happy, stay positive, and don't forget to smile because you are never going to regret it. Peace out.